Hey guys, my name is Mary and I have been involved in trading for quite a while to share my knowledge with someone else. That's why I created this YouTube channel. If you want to participate in trading sessions with me and receive signals from me, then subscribe to my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. Today I will conduct several successful trades. If you like it, join my YouTube and Telegram channel where I provide accurate entry signals. So let's start our trading. The euro to Japanese yen pair doesn't have anything particularly interesting. The US dollar with the Canadian dollar. There is a small resistance zone here from which we already got a decent reaction and the price started to rise. Mm, let's, enter, let's enter with $300 for 3 minutes to continue this movement because there is no resistance above us and nothing that could stop the upward move. The overall trend is upward. The chart shows that the exchange rate has been rising since 8 a.m. There is certainly a resistance zone above, but we're still far from it. There is also a small local downward trend, but there is still room to grow before reaching the trend zone. In general, the global picture is an ascending trend. It's more important for us than local bounces and local, local downward trends. So we can confidently enter a buy position. But by the way, it's possible that the price may now return to the support zone. I do not exclu exclude that possibility. Sometimes it happens, but in that case, I'll simply enter a trade for a retest and re-enter. And as a bonus, the RSI has crossed the moving average. There is also a small, very local, so to speak, resistance level. The price had a small reaction to it, but nonetheless, the charge should break through it now. Again, if the price starts to decline, I will enter a trade for a retest with a sum of $600. So let's wait for the trade to close. In a few seconds, the trade will close in profit. As I expected, we got a small bounce from the local resistance level, but the price immediately broke through and reached the zone of the local downward trend. Now let's start searching for the next trade. Right after the first profit, I found quite an interesting situation on the usually boring currency pair, British pound with the Canadian dollar. There is a fairly strong trend here. I don't want to miss the opportunity, so I'll enter a trade right away. I opened the trading platform, opened the Great British Pound and CAD currency pair. By the way, it has a good payout percentage. I want to enter... Well, what if the trend line breakout has started? I won't enter it yet. It's better to wait and see um, how the breakout develops. Let's look at other pairs in the meantime. Okay, USD and Japanese Yen. Here's an interesting situation too. There was a significant decline at first. And now there is an accumulation phase. But we can keep looking. There is absolutely nothing interesting here. And yet something catches my attention. Mm, I'll wait for the breakout. Let's see. Okay, Australian dollar, Japanese yen looks good. And here I can confidently enter a trade for a downward movement. The price broke the local support zone and now I expect a sharp and significant decline. Plus, the price has exited in the accumulation zone, as it was on the chart. Initially, there was an impulse downward. After that, there was accumulation when the price traded in a range, and after accumulation, the price started to fall. In most cases, such situations continue the movement. Moreover, the subsequent impulse will be equal in length uh, to the initial, in, initial impulse. It's a cool situation, and it often works out profitably. By the way, I often give signals precisely based on such situations because they frequently occur in the market. On the other hand, patterns like flags or double bottoms happen less often. For those, uh, you have to wait for a clear confirmation to enter, but accumulations with the price breaking out up or down appear constantly. I think similar situations form on one of the charts every hour or so, maybe even every half an hour. Let's put it this way. A typical market situation. There is a minute and a half left until the trade ends. The price has increased slightly, but that's normal. Let's wait for the completion. Overall, what I expected happened. A slight price retracement followed by a strong downward impulse, four long red candles, 
The trade is profitable by 20 PIPs and I will receive in profit uh, the profit in 5 seconds. I think the downward movement will continue further because there is still room to fall and I'm starting to search for the next trade. Let's move on to the last trade for today. I've looked at several currency pairs and found one that could bring me the third profitable trade. It's the Euro with Japanese Yen. It had also a good payout percentage and there is also a great setup. I'll enter a trade for an upward movement right away because we have a combo of signals here. Firstly, a very strong impulse that drove the RSI into oversold territory. Secondly, if we draw Fibonacci levels, it can be seen that the 0.5 level coincides exactly with the support turned resistance zone after the decline. In other words, it used to be a support zone, now it has become a mirror resistance zone. In general, it's a great situation. I expect a strong upward movement, at least up to uh, the 0.5 Fibonacci level. But I think in practice, the price will break through this zone and won't even notice it. There is even a possibility that the price will rise by 100% based on Fibonacci levels. Why not? Even if we look at the pocket option with 15 second time frame, we'll see that th there was a very strong decline and the candles were clear and strong. Some of them didn't even have shadows, so the market simply has to correct itself. In any case, that's exactly what the RSI indicates. It provides an understanding not uh, of a trend reversal, but of the market will correct itself. Meanwhile, the trade is in profit and we can simply wait um, for a minute until it finishes. There are 10 seconds left until the trade ends. The price started to correct upwards, then there was a slight trading range and continuation of the movement. In the, in the end, I made a pleasant profit with minimal anxiety. In summary, today I made three profitable trades with a good payout percentage. It was an excellent trading session today. I really appreciate your time and interest in watching this video. If you found it enjoyable, I would greatly appreciate your support by giving it a thumbs up. I also encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Telegram channel to stay informed about my future content. By becoming a part of our community, we can build a friendship and have more discussions. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.